How are you guys doing? Good? Oh, before I start, you guys need anything? Need a little bathroom break, maybe? It's kind of like in the middle of the speaker lineup. I know I could help you out. Any women in STEM need to go to the bathroom? Serious. You can be honest. We're all friends here. Because uh, trust me, trying to put, find a women's restroom in a science or engineering building can be quite the trek. Uh, my favorite place to do this little scavenger hunt that we play is at the top of Glennon. You know that computer science building at the end of the quad? Uh, there's, on the eighth floor, there's all these computer labs, and there's only one restroom, and it's only for men. And my favorite part about this bathroom is that it is so highly contended. So, a group I am just in love with called Wiser, we received concerns a little while ago, two years ago, about this bathroom, only to hear that, you know, we were like, okay, we'll have some meetings, we'll call some people, we'll get it fixed, right? I can't tell you how many meetings, how many petitions I've signed, how many emails I've sent about one bathroom, two years later, nothing. It's still a men's bathroom, of course it is. And this isn't a rarity around campus. If you go in Nord, you know, the engineering building, on the fourth floor, the women's restroom is so hard to find, they had to put up signs. There was directions, it's hilarious. It's like, ladies' restroom, this way. And you're like, do you know how frustrating it is to feel so belittled that I gotta get out Google Maps and be like, okay, here we go, <laughs> to the bathroom. And I know what you're thinking, really, Maggie? Restrooms? That's the most important issue facing women in STEM. After all those things Kimberly brought up, after all those things, that's what you think is most crucial. And to that, I say, well, of course not. Do you know how many issues we got? <laughs> so many. STEM culture is just rampant with a disease of sexism. It's that we're, that we're keeping women from being confident in their extraordinary findings, and we're keeping women from staying in the field. And I could drop, like, I could rant for days on days, and I have. It's my, my roommates now. <laughs> I could load you with statistics about how 52% of women will drop out of STEM due to hostile macho culture, about how over a quarter of women are repeatedly mistaken for custodial staff at their own place of work. But you know, you've seen it on TV. You've watched this as sexist, horrible, horrible sexist crimes and infuriating misogyny, and then we elect them president. And, and you see, and you're like, I, first of all, I don't, I'm very powerless in that situation. That's how you feel. You're like, this is a huge issue and it's way beyond me. And then you think, well, the bar for sexism is about yay low right now. And I'm like here, so I'm good, right? You think, I'm good. I don't need to modify my behavior. But I think that's a huge mistake on our part. Huge. I think that like, <laughs> I think, I think that we need, to, we need to check out the little things about women in STEM. We need to just not just be, we can't be complacent about these little things, about little things and little changes that are so preventable. Now when I talk about little things, let me give you a couple examples. Uh, one, of my, one of my best friends, she's just beyond brilliant. She went to the polls on Tuesday to vote. And the pollster goes, oh, you know, you go to Case Western? And she says, yeah. And he goes, oh, what do you study? And she says, chemical engineering. And, and he goes through the entire English language and responds with one word. And he looks and he pulls it out. And it's cute. He says, oh, that's cute. You guys, I wish engineering courses were cute. I have taken so many. And I'm like, I would love if thermo was cute. I would love if process control was cute. If circuits was cute, I would be so happy right now. <laughs> it ain't cute. Okay, it's only because she was a girl that he said cute. And it was one word to this guy. In his whole life, I bet if you asked him about two hours later what he responded to her, he would have no idea. But my friend, she's still thinking about it. An experience I still think about is a year ago when I got my first internship and I was beyond excited. I got my dream place to work. I was so so excited and we were talking in a group in circuits lab and this guy goes well you only got it because you're a girl i was like only got it because you're a girl and this guy he's not a horrible misogynist i don't think i really don't believe he commits sexist crimes i really don't but to me I can still remember where I was. I can remember what time it was. I could picture my outfit. I know exactly how I felt, and I know how I feel now. 
like someone views my accomplishments as, as some sort of gender-inflicted wound upon them. Like my resume was turned into this big, like, long list of achievements into a sign that said, just female, please hire. That's ridiculous. And this guy, I bet if you asked him right now, if you were like, hey, do you remember saying this? He'd be like, oh, no. Sorry, that's my impression for all men. Um, he'd be like, no, I would never say that, you know? But I, I'm going to keep this with me for a long time. This is the kind of things that stay with you. And they're so small, right? It's just a sentence. It's just a word. It's just a toilet. But these little things, they're huge. And I know that we, we look at these big, big sexist issues. You know, we need an evolution in how we view female intellect. I agree. I, full, I fully agree. But we are not powerless in this situation. We are not so below the high and mighty that we can't do or change anything about it. We can make little changes, you know, we could say, just use like a better word, use the best of words, and you'll be fine. Change a bathroom, change a word, just little things. I'm not asking for a cultural revolution from you guys, because you're all very tolerant. I know that you're here, <laughs> you're here, and that's awesome. So just watch out for the little things, and we can make it, just keep Keep evaluating yourself on little things. Just keep flushing, and we'll be OK. All right, thanks, guys.